Hi everybody, it's me, Johnny D, John D. Domenico. You're probably used to seeing me on this channel. Wig and makeup and the Trump suit. I'm doing Joe Biden, how are you? I'm most in powers, baby, yeah. But today is something a little different. I love reading. I had dyslexia. Actually, I still have dyslexia. But as a business person and as a performer and as a writer, I have to do a lot of different reading. Books I like to read about are about business because I run a business and that requires marketing and sales and social media and all those things that we all have to deal with, especially if we're entrepreneurs and have our own businesses and all those things we've come to deal with <laughs> at this point in history. I wanna talk about my books from 2023. I read a lot of books. Um, this is not all of them, but just as some of the ones that really had like the best takeaway for me as a creative, as a business person, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. First three books are by Stephen Pressfield. These are great for anyone who is a writer, who is a creator, who has to put something together. It actually doesn't really matter what it is. Whatever field you're in, you can really kind of get something out of these books. But specifically, if you're a writer and a creative and you have to write a script or do content or any of those things. So many people have YouTube channels now and things on Instagram and all the different platforms. First book that he wrote was The War of Art. And this is the book that really made him very famous. He has written screenplays, fiction books, he's written nonfiction books, a book called the Legend of Bagger Vance, which went on to become a major, a major motion picture. It was huge. Kind of about the war you have with yourself when you're trying to create your work. But here's the book that kind of kicked it all off that a lot of people got a lot out of, including myself, on how to stop this war inside of me and get the work done. It's a wonderful book and they're not very big. You can get through these pretty fast. I, I marked up a lot of this book. The chapters, look at it, here's typical. It's not that long, but you get a lot out of it. The next book that he wrote is Do the Work, which basically takes this and expands on having to distill, to sit down and focus. All of these books, all three of his books, are about resistance, the resistance we have in ourselves and how to get through it, how to get by it, how to get around it, and do the work you need to do. That's why this book really spoke to me, because I'm a huge procrastinator, but I have to write scripts, I have to write material, I've got to put videos out. So this was a big help, and one of those books I'll probably come back and reread again. If you don't want to get all three of these, this is probably your best and quickest, again, super fast read. This one is kind of taking these two books and again expanding it. This is about turning pro. I am a professional writer, content creator, all those things. I do it for a living. This is your next level book on how to consistently put out the work that you need to put out to make a living. It doesn't come in when you, <laughs> you conjure it. It's about sitting down every single day, writing something. I always say myself, it's easier for me to fix something crappy that I'm written as opposed to starting from scratch. Kind of write every day, but great books. If you are a writer, if you happen to be a writer or a content creator in, in, in that field, you'll get through these books very fast, but I recommend highlighting this stuff and coming back to it. So these are the three books by Stephen Pressfield, The Art of War, Do the Work, and Turning Pro. Great books. Find them on Amazon, used. If you like used books or new books, or you can probably find them somewhere else, your favorite book place, but they're definitely worth getting. One thing I wanna say before I move on to the next book, I go between Audible and hardcover books. I travel a lot. I may be listening to it when I'm at baggage claim, but reading it when I'm sitting on the plane. So I try to utilize every moment I can to read a book and get through a book as quickly as possibly and help keep my comprehension up. This book is great. This is Building a Story Brand. I redid my website this year. This book was really, really helpful. I think that I need to make things complicated. This book is really about keeping things as clear as possible. Clarity is what sells. So this is a really wonderful book and it really focuses on your personal 
story. How you can use that personal story in everything that you do and that your personal story is unique to you and that's what's really important. This will help you create a message from top to bottom. I, I, have, a, I have a lot of respect for this book. Donald Miller did a great job with this. It is a number one Wall Street Journal bestseller and there's a reason for that. So I, I highly recommend this book. And again, a book you can mark up. I always make notes. I own the book. So I'm gonna write right inside the book, find those things, make those marks that I think are important and useful. Craig Ballantyne, who I started a conversation with on Instagram, was nice enough to send me these. These are great books and I think I have the order, I have the order correctly. Is that right? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna look at this really fast because I wanna make sure the, the, that's 2015. Where is it? 2019, okay, this is the correct order. So this is the perfect day formula from him. This is how to really maximize your day. Set those boundaries, set those time limits. We all know people who maximize their time. We all get 24 hours a day, part of that is sleep. But th some of the people we know are really, really killing it because they can be so efficient. They can get into flow, they can get into the deep work. This kind of starts off this trilogy of books. And this is a great primer. You definitely wanna read this. It's your day, your single day formula. Moving on, this is unstoppable. Taking this, broadening it out, but also incorporating the fact that he was dealing with a lot of anxiety and we're all we're all dealing with anxiety on some level. This book says over and over again, action beats anxiety, motion beats meditation, and work beats worry. That anxiety can be uh, extinguished if you're doing the work that you need to do. This is a great book, it's a fast read. I keep mentioning business, but all this stuff is things that you can use in life because that's what we're living. We're living our lives, or hopefully not working through our lives. And again, these books are about making that time in your life so you can have some more fun. Watch more of my comedy videos, you know, <laughs> open up that, that time frame. This takes the first book, the day, uh, the perfect day formula and unstoppable, gives you the whole week, how you can plan out the whole week, maximize the whole week. One of the things I lo love about Craig's books are he talks about making the time working efficiently so you can spend more time doing the things you love, more time with your partner, your spouse, your friends, your children. It's not all about work, 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 grind, grind, grind. It's about having a balance, figuring out how to maximize that work time so you can maximize the family fun and that time that recharges you. Limitless. I love books about brain chemistry. What to eat, maximize your brain, sleep, how the brain is connected to the stomach, all of these different things. There's a lot of brain information out there. And again, maximizing your brain, maximizing your time. This book, Limitless, is the encyclopedia of how to level up your brain, get to the next level, maximize your time, maximize your mental bandwidth so you can get things done, the way you want to get them done. Again, kind of living your life in balance, but this really covers everything. Brain health, physical health, spiritual health. It's really a great book. I think it's a million seller. Yeah, it's a New York, it's a New York Times bestseller. One of the things I'll say about all books, especially in this category, are somewhat repetitive. I, there's two reasons for that. There's only so many etern eternal truths unless there's new scientific information. And also, we need to hear things over and over and over again to get them drilled into our head. The great thing about this book is it has a lot of scientific information that's written in a way that Jim Quick has written it in a way that makes it really useful. One of the things I like with all of my books is I want something that's nuts and bolts that I can use. And then I want to enjoy reading the book. So this is a great read. It is a number one New York Times bestseller. You'll get a lot out of it. It's a decent size. It's a decent sized book. Like l literally from the moment you open the book, there's useful information. I mean, literally on the inside of the front cover. So I, I recommend this book, Limitless, Jim Quick, and he also has a lot of material online on YouTube. Uh, pretty much everybody I've spoken about, I follow 
on social media. Somebody I've been following on social media for a very long time is this guy, Gary Vaynerchuk. You probably have heard of him. He wrote Crush It, Thank You Economy, so many great books. He's all over the interwebs, great short form material, long form material. I've actually seen Gary V speak five times. I've never not walked out of one of his keynotes and not left with some really Again, nuts and bolts stuff that I can hold on to. This book is moving on to the next level of what he's about. This book is 12 and a half, and the 12 and a half things he's talking about, each chapter is about one of these things. Gratitude, self-awareness, accountability, optimism, empathy, kindness, tenacity, curiosity, patience, conviction, humility, ambition and his half which you decide which is yours is kind candor it's a great book it's kind of a reminder that we're all in this together we're all interconnected that a lot of people see him as a super cutthroat successful guy but he is really about the the human side of this and doing what you love and being passionate about it and giving back so this book is a nice is a nice break, but still gives some really useful, useful pieces of information. So Gary Vaynerchuk, he knocked it out of the park with this one. I bought, I bought a bunch of copies of this and gave it out as, out as a gift to my mastermind group. It's a great book, an easy read, and kind of an uplifting and inspiring read. Last book. This was a little bit of a monster. Someone who has dyslexia. This was not the easiest book to get through. I did, uh, I probably half of this book was audible at like double speed so I could get through it. And the rest was reading because there's so many amazing things to read. Um, this book out of probably anything here actually has pictures. This is photos, which I love when I'm reading a big book like this because there's 10 pages of photos. When I get on the other side, it's like, I read, I got through 10 more pages. This is Benjamin Franklin's biography by Walter Isaacson. It is exhausting. The level of research in this book is exhausting in a good way because he's drilled down. Walter Isaacson also did the Steve Jobs and some other very famous people. He's written some amazing biographies. I grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've been exposed to Benjamin Franklin my entire life. I went to the Franklin Institute many, many times. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It's a fantastic place. If you go visit Philadelphia, make sure you go to the Franklin Institute. I think we all know that Benjamin Franklin is one of our founding fathers. He's really, is intricate, intricately woven into the fabric of what this, how this country started. So you know him as a scientist, as an inventor, as a writer, as a diplomat, as a founding father. I'm just scratching the surface. There's so many things about this guy. This gets into his personal relationships. This gets into his family relationships, the relationship he has with his wife, how he was always gone. It's a fascinating book. You will know Benjamin Franklin very, very well. One of the reasons, one of the many reasons I wanted to read this book is because Benjamin Franklin is essentially the first self-help writer in history. There may be some other people before that. He's definitely the first in the U.S. He was so influential with his self-help tips, with his poor Richard's Almanac, that Stephen Covey, who I think we all know if you're watching this, who wrote The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, another massive bestseller, named his company Franklin Covey. Benjamin Franklin had such a profound impact on him because Benjamin Franklin made a notebook calendar so you could maximize your time. He was really into time blocking before there was a term for it, how to be efficient, how to be focused, how to do deep work. He's an incredibly amazing, amazing person. We're so lucky that he was one of the founding fathers, but also did a lot of research. So this book is a wonderful, wonderful book. If you love history, if you love science, if you love inventions, if you love writing, if you love self-help, this is just an absolutely fantastic book. Those were some of my books from 2003. I hope you liked the review. If you did not 
like this here on the channel, let me know in the comments. We won't do any more, I promise. But if you do like them, I'll be doing individual book reviews moving forward. I love reading, I suffer with dyslexia, but I love reading, I get so much out of reading. My next book is the Arnold Schwarzenegger book. I've already started this, it's a great book, it's a good book. This one has pictures too, which I think is, which I think is great. So let us know in the comments if you like this, if you don't like this. Also let me know if there's a book you'd like me to read. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back to reading at Arnold. So uh, thank you so much.